Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, today's video is going to be how I edit my Instagram pictures. Just kind of have that little filmy effect. And also a trick that I do when taking the picture to also get that effect. I do want to apologize for the noise in advance. My neighborhood has so many dogs. Is that even funny? And It's like if I cued them. We're just going to have to try to make it work. Okay, so. But before we do get into this video, I want to show you guys that my 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque finally arrived and I cannot thank you guys enough. Never in my life, and my Instagram followers already got this lecture, never in my life would I have thought that it would be holding one of these in my hand and I know it's so cliche, so cheesy, but I really owe it all thanks to you guys. So I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me, for believing in me, for sticking around with my inconsistent butt. I've been trying my hardest to get the streak going, uh, creating a schedule in which I'm going to be uploading. I don't know if you noticed, but that's what I've been doing. So, enough of that. I don't want this to get too long. Let's just jump right into the video. Now, I have a fair share of apps that I've bought, maximum a dollar, two dollars, and I also have a ton of apps that are free. I'm going to show you guys both options, just alternatives for those of you that maybe don't want to. There's some apps that I do recommend buying. I think you might know about this app, but I want to mention it anyways just in case. This one's a picture taking app. Now this app is called the Huji Film app. This one's free, it can be used on an Android and an iOS Apple phone. But this app specifically, the reason why I mention it is because you don't need any editing. It's like a digital disposable camera. This app basically just takes the picture it'll come up and it'll give you like that digital disposable camera effect i mean i guess because it is a disposable camera the trick that i've noticed with this camera is that if you turn the flash on it'll give you that light streak that a lot of people go for turn the flash on you take a picture and that's it you don't really need to edit your picture you have your effect you can post it on your insta story post it on your instagram and that is the app you're you're seeing most people are Posting. The bad thing about this app is that you can't upload any previous pictures you've had. You have to take it on that app specifically. But it's pretty cool because it's on the go, no editing, just snap and go. You know what I mean? So, yeah. All right, now we're going to get into the actual good stuff, what you're here for. The first app I like to go into is Facetune. I've used Facetune for two details that I have not found in any other app. And that is the details and the whiten tool. And you see how... The main focus is on the ring, so my face is a little out of focus. It's not, the details are not really popping through. So what I'm gonna do is take the details button right here. You can zoom in pretty, pretty deep on the face. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly go over anything I want to make pop. So usually when you take a picture, sometimes there's some details on your face, whether it's your makeup, jewelry, or anything that kind of get washed out. In person you see, but the camera doesn't pick it up. So this is what this tool is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and just bring up the details on my eyes, my eyebrows, anything I want to pop. And then you see here the difference that it makes. I like to also go ahead and use this on any jewelry that I want to also you know, whatever the, the light caught, I, I want to make that pop as well. And a lot of people use this like on their highlight, on their makeup to also make it pop because you notice if you take a picture with your eyeshadow, it doesn't look as bright on the picture as it does in person. So that kind of helps you make it stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that real quick. We're going to go finish editing this picture later. Basically, if you have anything yellow or you want to keep like an aesthetic on your picture, Gonna keep a certain color scheme going. The whiten tool is perfect because it kind of helps you whiten out anything on the picture, any unwanted colors. I like to go on the whiten tool and sort of go around like the walls, for example. You can go on the floor. And you can see the big difference that that makes. So we're gonna go ahead and save that picture as well. As far as I know, Facetune is the best one for those two things, so that's why I've invested my two dollars. Two dollars? Two hard earned dollars. This one is called Snapseed. This one is free. I use it as well. It's an alternative you can use as well. There's three really good things that I like about this app that differentiates it from any other app that I've had. I like the healing. So if you do have like a very big pimple and you want to get rid of it, you can go ahead and heal it here. But the main thing that I like about this app, for example, it has a selective tool. Now this tool helps you bring up the brightness contrast, saturation, structure, all of that on a specific part of the picture. So you can go ahead and tap on the area you want to brighten. Let's say it's darker than everything else and you want to brighten up your face, for example. You tap on your face and pinch it to make sure that it's just highlighted on your face. 
and you can bring up the brightness here you can bring up the saturation and just kind of play around with that it also has this uh, spotlight tool that also brings a spotlight to your face brightening up your face brightening up your eyes smoothing up your face a little bit to sort of make your face the main focus of the picture so that's something that you can use as well I think it's very useful now for filters I used to use visco cam that's a free one and I'll also be showing you how to get some free presets on there now have transferred over to an app called yes analog film the soul version I like the highlights on this one it has a couple of preset filters um, that kind of give it that vintage you look if your picture is really dark and notice it really brightens it up and I like to always bring the filters down my favorite one is the O2 I like to bring it down to about a 50 40 percent depending how I'm feeling and what I also like about this app is that it has a light feature. So just like the Huji Film app gives you like the light streaks, this one you can choose where you want it. You have a couple different ones here, and you can bring down the intensity as well. You also have a dust feature, and you can bring down the intensity. You can also move it around to however you want that dust to look. I'll also be showing you an alternative to the dust in a second. I got you. Um, but you can move that around and that's what I really like about it. So you can really decide. This is the app that actually gives you most of the work. Um, where I get most of like the filmy looks. The dust and the light. And also the color that the picture gives you. That's what I really like about this app. So I think this one was also $2. It was a really good investment because I didn't really get this specific look. Um, like I do with the other free apps. So I'm going to save that aside and I'm going to show you guys what I do on the free apps. So, if you don't want to spend the $2, you can go into VizcoCam. And now, you know that there's certain apps, certain filters on there that are free and the rest you have to pay for? If you actually go into the shopping, into the cart, you'll see how, if you scroll down, there's a couple that have a check mark that means I've downloaded them, um, but these are free. They literally either said free or zero dollars and zero cents. And you click on these and you get you get some free free presets they all come in and once you down once once you click on that it'll show up here in your library and for me my favorite one so far has been a4 which is this one right here I like to bring down the intensity a little bit and my second favorite one is c1 I like to bring down down a little bit now here you can play with the exposure contrast and you can also add the famous grain on here. If you don't want to be all extra, then you can just use one of these filters, add the grain, and boom, there you go. You have a grainy, vintage -y looking picture. If you want to add some dust, another great app, it's a free app, is called RNI Films. And this app, I don't like the filters they have. I mean, I guess they have some good ones, but I'm not a fan of them, especially since you can't you can't control how much and how little you can add of it. You go into tools, dust, and you can bring up, you can play with the intensity of the dust. I know that the only thing you can actually modify is the dust, so if you want some dust on your picture, you can go ahead and add that RNI film. And the last app I want to talk about is a free app, and it's an app that I use as well to edit my pictures. And it is called Lightroom. You do have to pay for it if you have it on your computer, but on your phone, it's a free app. You can download it on Android, I checked, and you can also download it, of course, on your iPhone. I have it on my phone. What I like about this app is that it has three useful features that I use on it. One, you can bring up the blacks, how much you want the blacks to pop, how much you want the whites to pop, um, bring up the exposure. But the next thing I really like is the color one because the color feature here allows me to make certain colors in the picture pop the most if I want them to. So I can play, for example, with the red here, the red lips, you see how it faded a little bit earlier from me editing it. You can bring up the red, you can bring up the red on the dress. Um, you can also play with the greens, the saturation, the hues, and it allows you kind of just to manipulate the color a little bit. I love the green feature on this one more than the visco cam because I can choose how big I want the green to be, how rough I want it to be, just how much overall. Um, I feel like it's a little more professional. For me, my order in things is Facetune for the details and whitening up walls, floors, whatever. Um, Snapseed if I really need to get rid of a pimple. The saw one for the filter, for the O2 filter, for the light 
and also for some dust if I really want it. And then I go into Lightroom for the green and the colors and all that. A trick I always recommend using if you really want a digital film. You know, most of the time you take your pictures in like natural lighting, but if it's getting dark, I think that's the perfect time to take a digitally filmy looking picture if you don't want to use a Uji film. Because you turn the flash on on your phone, you take the picture, and it already gives you the illusion of like the, you know, like the, the flash in your face and everything else looking a little darker. To edit it, add some green, add some light streaks, it kind of looks like a digital picture. That's pretty much it for the apps that I mostly use that you guys have asked me questions about. I hope this helped you in any way, shape, or form. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,